morning. It is a very snowy December morning and today I'm going to be climbing Mount Washington with my brother who has chosen to remain anonymous, not Ben. Um, so we're looking at roughly 3,200 feet of elevation gain and we are going to be in snow the entire way. So it should be a very fun winter adventure. Let's get going. So these rock faces are one of the popular attractions at Owali State Park. They're, there's some really popular rock climbing routes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look, icicles, icicles. Oh, icicles. behind me is a feature on the trail called Actual Cave. Yes, that's the name. People in the Pacific Northwest are great at naming things. Um, this is a really interesting feature and there's a lot of uh, climbing equipment bolted into the, the rock face. So this is where some people do some rock climbing. It's full of icicles right now, but let's get a closer look. That little waterfall is coming right out of the rock. All the caves along here are so cool. into some proper deep snow now and because we are the first ones on this mountain in a few days we are having to brick trail which is making um, things go considerably slower than they might have done and making for a very good leg workout but it is becoming a beautiful winter wonderland so I can't complain Here we 
we see evident evidence of a little feathered friend hopping through the snow. <sighs> Maybe we'll see more critter tracks. So we've reached our first peekaboo view. This is Rattlesnake Ridge and then behind it is Tiger Mountain where we were not too long ago. And hopefully this winter we'll be hiking the entire ridge. <sighs> this is a good view of the valley though. Look at all those clouds down there. Boy, we are two hours in, about 2,000 feet in, and I think we're roughly a mile from the summit, and the snow is getting deep. It has really been fun plowing through this snow and also having the mountain all to ourselves. So peaceful. And things are still warm enough that the creek hasn't frozen over, but we've been seeing some truly epic icicles. Yeah, if you want to know, if you want a visual of how deep the snow is, like, you can look at this boulder right there. That gives you a pretty good idea. the point where the snow is getting pretty high up on the gators though but we are within a mile of the summit i think we've got like a 0.6.5 a mile left to go got some elevation gain but seems like seems pretty doable and the sun came out and we have blue skies so we are probably gonna get some awesome views at the top As you can see, the snow is quite deep, but we gotta follow this. We're gonna take switchbacks up, and there's our summit. Okay, we are 
less than a quarter mile from the summit. And this has been, this top half of the mountain has been a suffer fest. The snow is 18, 20 plus inches deep and we are breaking trail. And if you are thinking to yourself, should we have brought snowshoes? The answer is probably yes, but I guess it means we're just getting a good leg workout in, but it has been slow going. Fortunately, I have Sam here with me and he is breaking the trail. So I guess if you do something like this, bring someone taller who's willing to break trail. Okay, so we have reached our turnaround point. The snow is, I don't even know how many inches deep now, and uh, we have completely spent all of our energy. The summit is just up there, but um, it's definitely not doable for us at this point. Um, it's a shame to stop so close, but it's definitely the right call. And we had a lot of fun climbing up this far, and we definitely got some of the beautiful mountain views and got to enjoy this lovely weather. And going back down is gonna be much easier because we've already made our trails. Um, but yeah, here are the views that we did get along the way. And don't worry, eventually I will be back to actually summit Mount Washington, but that day is not this day. Alright, so we are almost back to the car, so I'm going to just film my wrap up now. We did 8 miles and roughly 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Um, we didn't make it to the summit, but I will come back here in the spring, I think, for revenge. And maybe I'll make it a, a fun trail run, because this trail is actually really great and there's a huge part of it that's flat. Um, but I would also say that uh, you don't have to climb the mountain. You can just come and see the cave. The cave is really cool all on its own. Um, but yeah, this was uh, this was hard. This was definitely an exercise in suffering on a mountain. Um, breaking trail through 20 plus inches of snow is no joke. And could we have made it if we had snowshoes? Perhaps. Um, I can't say for sure, but we definitely weren't going to make it the, at the rate we were going, so definitely made the right choice. But I have other mountains planned for over Christmas, and we're definitely going to be getting to the top of those, so stay tuned. Um, you can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you can subscribe to follow more of our adventures on trail in the beautiful state of Washington. Thank you so much for watching and here are some of my favorite pictures from the trail. Enjoy!